I am Gregory, and this is Pensane. On the table, we have the latest addition to my Ranga fountain pen collection. Very, very excited about this one. But first, we have some catch-up to do. Before I reveal this, the latest Ranga pen, I believe it's their, their latest design even, um, we'll play some catch-up with my current collection. First we have the Abamanu, which is one of the more recent releases. And I love the color on this. It's like smoke and flames. Very nice. This is actually one of their smaller pens. And I'm going to go through these quickly because this is the main deal. <laughs> Up next is the 3C. So this is model 3C. I also love this color combination. Very, very nice. Some excellent, excellent chatoyants there. As you can see, that's a little bit bigger than the Abamanu. Up next in the grand scheme of things is this, the Splendor Peak. So this comes in a variety of, of uh, finials. This is the peak. Uh, it comes into a, a peak like that. You also have round and um, point but this is the peak, yes. Pretty large pen, and I tend to shy away from the, the clips on these Ranga pens, but this one, it just seemed right, and so I figured I would give it a shot. And this is a big jump up in size. Up next is, I believe this was the first Ranga in my collection. This is the Model 5. And this thing is enormous. Enormous. Stunning blue pen and i usually shy away from blue pens in particular because i feel so drawn to only put blue ink in it <laughs> but there you go that is a gorgeous huge huge pen yeah not quite the same but it's still a ranga pen and this is actually the ranga dip pen. And sadly, I was just on the Ranga website and apparently they no longer offer dip pens, which I think is really sad. But this is even longer than the Model 5. <laughs> and I also have the thick dip pen, which is still longer yet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is the collection so far. Um, different nibs. There's some Ranga nibs in here. There's some Buck nibs. I don't think I have any Schmidt nibs, but Ranga offers like all kinds of crazy, crazy options when you order their pens. Particularly if you make use of, uh, they have these group buys that they announce, I think typically on their Instagram site and also through email if you're on their email list. And these these group buys are, they tend to be for their, their brand new designs. 
All right, but you want to see the latest model that they offer. There's some of their pens that I have been able to resist, but when I saw this and saw that it was very different from anything else they offer, I had to get on it right away. Um, now this has already been unboxed and it's already inked up and all that, but I wanted to do the proper reveal here. This is the Ranga Salmon, like the fish. And you'll see it has a very, very different shape than any of the other pens. And it's not often you see a fountain pen with this shape. But one did come to mind. And that was actually this. The Moon Man. S5. Now, it, the finial on the cap is not as pointy as that, but still you have this very obvious flare on the finial on the, the barrel. So you see that's, that's similar. So it did come to mind, but if you're familiar with this model, it's definitely shorter than the salmon. Yes, but the Moon Man S5 came to mind when I saw this pen. Okay, so again, these this was a group buy. Whenever you do those, there are dozens and dozens of options and the combinations of which really make it possible to come up with probably hundreds if not thousands of combinations so i opted uh, obviously the the model is the ranga salmon and i opted for solid green it's actually a blue green but definitely leaning uh, heavily into green. I love the color. I, I, I think it's gorgeous. As you saw from the other pens, in the past I've always opted for polished. But this one I thought, I want to try matte and see how that looks. And I'm so glad I did. I mean, look at that. We'll, we'll get into that in a, in a moment, but, um, so then, uh, this is premium ebonite. Don't ask me what ebonite is. <laughs> I don't completely understand what it is, but it sounds really cool. But this is premium ebonite, solid green, matte finish, and... You see, the, you could barely see the, the seam on there. It's really nice. And it, it really doesn't take much at all to... Maybe one turn. And then I opted for the Ranga Medium Nib. On their, on their pens, I'm, I'm very, I'm always very tempted to get a broad nib. <laughs> so I thought I would go with a medium this time. And this is uh, a steel nib and it's gold monotone. And uh, I think you can see their logo on there. It's a crown, but if you look closer, it's actually three nibs, which I think is really, really cool. Really cool. Yeah. It's not a heavy pen, especially considering the size. And you wanna see how it writes, right? Okay, so I have my, my trusty 
<laughs> CVS caliber notebook here. Yeah. And you want to see this right. All right, so. This is And I should probably mention that the ink is So basically my thoughts on the pen, first of all, I love the matte finish and the, the feel of it is just incredible. Admittedly, <laughs> admittedly, when I first took it out of the box and felt it, it felt kind of like chalk. <laughs> I don't know the last time you've held a stick of chalk, but it basically felt like a stick of chalk. <laughs> I was like, ooh, I don't know. But the more you handle it, you know, the more your your oils penetrate into the the porous surface of the the pen, and the the smoother it feels and the nicer it feels really. Um comparing comparing the feel of the matte finish to the polished finish there's like a warmer, almost comforting feel to this pen. So I like that about it. But because it's porous, and I mean, you can kind of feel, you know, there's, there's a definite uh, texture to it. It's not polished. <laughs> uh, I really, really worry about this getting stained. In particular, immediately I thought, if I stick this down into a bottle of ink, the ink is going to go on there, it's going to stain it, and I'm never going to get it off, and I'm always going to have to look at that. So I, you know, I did the, the safe thing, and I should mention that this did come with a uh, converter, but you can also eyedropper it. But yes, I, I did the little cheat. I took the converter out, put that in the ink bottle, filled it up, put it in here, pushed out a little, you know, just one drop of ink to get the feed going, and I was good to go. And as you can see, this takes a lot of turns, so this actually would be a really good eyedropper pen. But yes, I could see this getting stained. And I'm curious to know what kind of care instructions there are for the, this material. Now, 
another thing I, I noticed is there's a very, there's, depending on how you hold it, the seam virtually disappears. You can still feel it just a little bit, but on the other side, it's a little more obvious. I don't know if you can make that out. So it's not a perfect, perfect seam. But I will mention that these are handmade. They're not made by, by a machine. So, yeah. <laughs> I think that's... I think that's forgivable. Um, plus it may have to do something with the way you line it up when you cap it. I don't know. But anyway, so it's it's not the smoothest. I would, I would say it definitely has feedback, but I would describe it as uh, feedback similar to a pencil. So in most cases, that's not bad at all, really. And th this was quite comfortable writing this. The ink private reserve spearmint is it yeah it's not the perfect match for this because <laughs> that's a green green and this is a blue green but i realized i i only had one pen with green ink in it so i, I wanted to put green so yeah anyway there you go my latest ranga pen the ranga salmon i highly recommend it very good you should definitely follow ranga pens on instagram so you can get a heads up about their group buys i believe they also have a facebook page where i think they probably do the same thing and then uh, there's always their website rangapens.com and there you you can buy, you know, pretty much any of their models. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I was very excited to show you my latest Ranga pen, the Ranga Salmon. Beautiful, beautiful. I definitely highly recommend the matte finish. It's, it'll be very different from anything in your collection. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.